When you're facing a medical emergency, time is critical. Every minute matters. And today, time is on your side because Northcrest Medical Center is ready 24-7, letting you get back to the life you love. Northcrest Medical Center, bringing exceptional care to our community. A terrible accident in the White House area on I-65 South at the 110 mile marker has left one person dead and another critically injured. The accident, which occurred a little after 2 p.m., had I-65 southbound completely closed and I-65 northbound crippled until 7 p.m. this evening when crews were finally able to clear up the scene. Now, the accident is still under investigation by the Tennessee Highway Patrol, but what we have so far is that a vehicle traveling in the northbound lane traveled across the center meridian to impact another vehicle in the southbound lane head-on. The word that best describes this accident is catastrophic. When the two vehicles hit head-on, they both simply exploded with parts flying in every direction. While emergency personnel were dealing with a very complicated extrication, they were also dealing with the tremendous heat we had this afternoon. It was an easy 85 degrees in the sun, and uh, two firefighters did succumb to heat exhaustion, were given intravenous fluids, and uh, put on an ambulance for a little while to cool down. Now Barbara Garrett and her husband had a front row seat for the accident. They came up just behind the head-on collision, and in fact, one of the vehicles landed on their hood. Well, what they say is, I was over in that lane, the far, the far lane over there, right. and I see lights on the back of a car, uh -huh. like a wine car, and it's in this lane. Right. And the next thing I know, it's either right in front of me, over in my lane, Either they got over trying to avoid this white car, and supposedly this white car right. was coming, went come across the median from here, come straight across at them. So that one was going the opposite direction. Uh -huh, yeah. Oh my goodness. So that's the one that caused the wreck. Um, the upside down car. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so they said that the wine vehicle there bounced off the top of my car. After talking to the THP, Mrs. Garrett was very gracious and stopped to talk to Smokey. Uh, she was on her way to Vanderbilt to be checked out herself. Her husband suffered a broken leg in the accident. What we have at this present moment is a three-car crash that does involve a, a minimum of one person deceased. What occurred was a vehicle that was traveling northbound on I-65 at the 110 mile marker. For some reason that is unknown at this present time, crossed the median, the grass median, came into the southbound lanes and struck a, uh, I believe it was a, a, a Kia Sorento SUV. The four tour struck the Kia Sorento, and then in return, a third vehicle, which is a Jeep Grand Cherokee, struck the Kia Sorento. It's been reported that the driver of the four tours is one that is deceased. Um, at this present time, all passengers of, of all three vehicles that are, are are still alive have been transported to Vanderbilt via life flight. So that is that is where we are at this present time. We have not made any official notifications. We are still trying to determine who all parties are. But um, no one has come forward and told us any names at this present time yet. So we are still trying to make positive identification. It is a very fluid, very ongoing investigation. Uh, I've done this job for almost 18 years. And I can tell you every name of every person that I've worked a fatal crash on. And uh, I can remember every face of every person that opened the door and knew when I was there what I was there for. And that, and that's, that's heartbreaking. I mean, it, it's uh, every time we do it, we lose a part of ourselves um, because we, we're, we're human too. And it could be me on the other side of that door when a trooper or, or an officer comes and knocks on my door. And uh, it's the worst fear that we have. My worst fear is not for my safety, but my worst fear is for my family's safety. And uh, and no family, no family deserves to have that knock on the door. No family deserves that. The THP, of course, is still searching for a cause of the accident. Uh, as soon as uh, any uh, developments are made and uh, released to the media, we will certainly uh, bring them to you. Uh, Smokey would like to convey our deepest sympathy to anyone that has been affected by this tragedy. And this has been Jim Ball reporting for Smokey Barn News in White House. Inspiration for your new floor comes from everywhere. But how do you turn those dreams into reality? Come to Carpet One Floor and Home. You can connect one-on-one -on -one with a local expert who knows floors, styles, and trends. 
We'll show you the possibilities and help you find just the right floor. Plus, we've got the largest selection at prices that'll leave you smiling. Come see our new showroom at 2810 Memorial Boulevard, just a block down from Kroger. Carpet One, we've got you covered.